how to create canva carousel for facebook hi guys let's get started immediately now the first thing you want to do is to be on your canva app now the next thing you want to do is to click on create a design is at the top left hand corner of your screen now you want to head over to custom size and then you're going to be tapping on that now for this section you want to ask yourself how many carousel would you like to have so for today i want five and then guys the height will still remain 1000 while the width is going to be 1000 multiplied by how many carousel i want which will be 5000 because in this case i want five carousel now guys you want to make sure the unit is in pixel before you go ahead to click create new design now you want to head over to the top left hand corner of your screen and you're going to be tapping on file now you want to head over to settings and tap on it where you see add gills and tap on it and then you're going to be tapping on custom go over to columns and then you want to impute how many carousels you like to have for me it's five now go to gaps and make sure it's on zero before you can then go over and tap on add guilds and this is what your page should be looking like it should be segmented into five now let me just say at this point you can go ahead and impute any design that you would like now but for me i'm going to start first by changing the background color of this page now head over to element and tap on frames i'm just going to keep searching for the frame that i want so i wanted this phone frame and so i went ahead to adjust the size of this frame and so i went ahead to duplicate because i wanted this phone frame in all carousel apart from one now the next thing that i did was to hit on uploads now we needed pictures uploaded into these phone frames so that they can look good now here is me just fitting in the different photos into their different frames now i also imported a picture for the first page of our carousel then i went to the top of my screen and i went ahead to click on remove background now i went in back to my element search for food and then i'll be looking for something food related in the graphics section when i saw what i wanted i went ahead to add it to my page and i resized it to suit my taste and then also i'm going to be duplicating this to the remaining four pages and at this point i wasn't feeling the background color so i went ahead to change this color into something brighter and for the final touch i went back to my elements i typed in curved line now i selected a suitable element for my page something to suit the theme and basically this is me just adjusting it into a suitable size and then guys i needed to change the color so it suits the theme of our carousel and also i'm going to duplicate because i want this in all my carousels now i'm done with my own facebook carousel design please don't forget you can do this according to preference and the next thing to do is to go to the top right hand corner of your screen and click on share now go over to where you see download and click on it now make sure the file is in png then you want to go down and click on download now we have to split these carousels into sizes that we can post on facebook now you want to go to any browser of your choice for today i'm going to be using chrome now head over to their search bar and then you want to type in pine tools now you are going to scroll down to where you see images and then you want to tap on more now you want to go ahead and search for where you see split images and tap on it and the next thing would be clicking on choose file now you want to go ahead and select the facebook carousel we just finished downloading on canva now you want to go to the options section and how to split image you want to change it to horizontal now go over to quantity of blocks and you want to edit that into how many carousels you want this to be splitted into for me it's five now you want to go over to where you see format and make sure it's on p and g then you're going to go ahead and click on split image now it's always best to download them individually so you want to go ahead and tap on them so they can be downloaded and this is what your carousel should look like after downloading and they are ready to be uploaded on facebook and if you found this video helpful you want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this youtube channel for more useful tutorials like this 
Now I will see you in my next video. Bye.